Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a requested look for prom, and it is inspired by this picture. On this side, I did it with the Naked 2 palette, because that's what the person who created the look used. So, I just wanted to show you guys that they do look pretty much exactly the same, but if you really want to go out and get the Naked 2 palette, it is a really nice palette, so, yeah, but I just wanted to create a look that was the same with using affordable drugstore eyeshadows. I do have videos on how I do my foundation and concealer and stuff so I will link that video right here and as always all products that are on my face and the products that I used and showed in the video will be in the description box also places where you can get them most of these things you can get at like Walmart or Target so they're really affordable and pretty easy to find so you shouldn't have any troubles with that so let me know how you guys like this look and leave more requests down in the comments if you would like and let's get started so the very first thing that I always do and this is kind of a must if you want it to last a long time is apply an eyelid primer and all I do is just put a little bit on my lid and then blend it in with my ring finger all the way up to the brow. Next I'm going to apply my silver color and then I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and put that all over my lid. Then I'm going to take my gold color and start placing that right in the middle with the same brush. And then just kind of take the edge and just kind of blend those two together so there's not like a weird line. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush for the crease and apply my darker color. You don't want too much of this on the brush otherwise it's going to be really hard to blend out. And I'm just putting that in the crease like I said focusing a lot of the color just above that and then we're going to blend it out later. And then take a tiny bit more and place it right in the outer corner. And then I'm going to take the same brush with a light beigey color that's similar to our skin tone and then just blend that out up to the brow. Not all the way, you want there to be a little space so that it doesn't look like your brow is connected to your makeup. Not a cute look. And then I'm going to take more of that darker color since I kind of blended it away and put more of it in the crease so the crease is a little bit darker and the outer corner. And then I'm going to take a little like pointy brush like that for the lower lash line and I'm going to take that same dark color 
then just run it along the lower lash line. Just to about the point of the end of your iris. And make sure it's wider and thicker out and then slowly gets thinner just like eyeliner on the top. And then take that beige shade again and just blend it out so it's not so harsh. And then take that silver color again with that same little pointy brush and just place a little bit on the inner corner of your lower lash line. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of white eyeliner and just put a little bit of that on the waterline. And then I'm going to take my liquid liner and I really like these kind of felt tips that are in like a pen so it's really easy to do a wing. If you're not really good at wings, um, either practice or just don't do one if you're not good at them but basically I just start in the middle and then just kind of flick it out so then I'm going to curl my lashes This next part you can skip if you don't like wearing fake eyelashes. I know sometimes they can be a little bit uncomfortable, especially if you were going to be wearing them for a long period of time. And they are pretty hard to apply. They do take a little bit of practice, so if you don't really want to put on false lashes, you really don't have to. That's just what the picture is showing, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Now for contouring, highlighting, and cheeks, I'm just going to put on my bronzer contouring and highlighting is always optional but I do have a contouring and highlighting video which I will link right here and then I'm just going to apply my blush And then my highlight. And then for lips, always make sure that you exfoliate and moisturize. Otherwise, lipstick and lip gloss is not going to be cute. I'm just using light pink lipstick, which is also kind of a nude. And then this light peachy pink lip gloss. I think that these nude pink lips go really well with the smoky eye. I wouldn't suggest really wearing like a red lip or anything too intense. I'd stick with pinks and nudes for this look, but you can totally wear red if you really want to. I just don't think it would look the best so that is the finished look i hope you guys like it and i will see you guys next time bye